What's up guys, I'm Chicks and you are watching Chicks Tech Reviews. So today I've got my hands on another budget smartphone which cost around $250. So this is Xiaomi's 5X smartphone. Let's begin with a very quick unboxing. Inside the box you will find a user manual, a SIM eject tool, a power brick, a USB Type-C cable and the actual smartphone itself. So here is the Xiaomi Mi 5X. If I just quickly remove these stickers. So as you can see, the entire body is made from metal and it gives a very premium and high quality look. I love the design in the curved corners and the phone feels very comfortable in the hands. The front glass has a special coating which allows the screen to remain fingerprint free. We will test that out to see how true this feature is and as you can see, there are no fingerprints on the screen. The design reminds me of the OnePlus 5 and as you can see it is quite inspired by the OnePlus 5 however they flip the cameras around and even the antenna lines are exactly the same. Whilst on the front you have a very nice 5.5 inch LTPS display with a screen resolution of 1920 by 1080 and a pixel density of 403 and you also have an anti fingerprint coating on the screen. At the bottom you have three touch buttons menu home and back. The fingerprint sensor is located on the back of the device and it's actually very responsive. It unlocks the screen quick and accurate every single time and it appears to be as fast as the OnePlus 5. This smartphone was made to look like a flagship device. That's why they made it an incredible 7.3 millimeters thin and it weighs only 165 grams. How did they manage that on a budget device? At the bottom of the device you will find a 3.5mm headphone jack, a microphone, a USB-C port and a speaker. On the side you have a dual SIM card tray which can take two nano SIM cards or one micro SD card and one nano SIM card. On the opposite side you have a volume rocker and a power button and on the top of the device you have a secondary microphone and what could be an IR blaster. Multimedia looks great on this device thanks to this very nice 1080p IPS screen and the speaker is also surprisingly loud and clear. Let's check out a few clips. So you have the Snapdragon 625 octa-core CPU combined with the Adreno 506, you've got 4 gigs of LPDDR3 RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage, Bluetooth version 4.2. This is running MIUI 8.5 on top of the latest Android 7.1.2 Noget. You also have a 3080 milliamp battery which will easily give you one and a half days of battery on medium to heavy usage. And this also supports USB Type-C fast charging. Coming to the cameras, on the back you have a dual 12 megapixel camera with an f2.2 and f2.6 aperture. Furthermore, you're able to shoot 4K videos at 30 frames per second. The 5X apparently has the same camera as found in Xiaomi's flagship device, the Xiaomi Mi6. On the front you have a 5 megapixel selfie camera which can also take up to 1080p videos. 
It's nice to see that they included a flagship camera in a budget handset. The dual camera on the back consists of a Sony wide angle lens and the other one is a Samsung telephoto lens, so you have technically a very strong combination. The camera is pretty much full featured and also includes fun filters and bokeh effects. So let's check out some samples. Furthermore, the Xiaomi 5X runs MIUI 8.5 on top of Android 7.1.2 Noget, and you have a very nice and clean stock Android experience. CPU-Z shows that this smartphone is not rooted from standard. In the Wi-Fi speed test, we got 31 megabits per second download and 9 megabits per second upload, and I was using a 40 meg broadband connection to run these tests. Here are the Geekbench scores for single and multi-core, and in the Antutu benchmark test, we achieved a total score of 64,287. So let's see how that compares with the others. So here is my top performing smartphone chart for 2017, showing you all the latest smartphones and seeing how they compare with each other. As you can see, the Xiaomi 5X has taken position 11 with a benchmark score of 64,287. I have also added the iPhone 8 to the chart and to no surprise it has taken position 1. I will keep this list updated with every new smartphone I review and also you can now download the list from the link description below. So there you have it guys, that was the Xiaomi Mi 5X smartphone. So let's break it down with some pros and cons. So this is supposed to be a budget smartphone, however they actually managed to provide a OnePlus 5 style design with a complete metal build and incredibly light and slim. You have a nice 1080p fingerprint proof screen with powerful specs which is able to play any game and stream 1080p YouTube videos. You also have an excellent camera which takes really good videos and photos, especially for a budget smartphone. You have a great battery life, headphone jack, loud and clear speakers, very fast fingerprint sensor, as fast as the OnePlus 5. This also has a USB Type-C fast charging port and is priced around $250 and if I can get my hands on a coupon code I will put that in the description so you guys can get an even cheaper price. Now on to the cons. You have no Gorilla Glass protection and also there is no Google Play Store but I was quite easily able to download it with a Google search and finally the MIUI International ROM is not available yet but should release in the near future and that will give you the Google Play Store as standard along with more languages other than English and Chinese. Bottom line, this is probably one of the nicest budget smartphones I have reviewed so far and for around $250 you're getting quite an all round powerful budget smartphone which can do pretty much anything you like. And with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Let me know in the comments what you think of this smartphone. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.